Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1981 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Milwaukee Brewers and the Detroit Tigers at Tiger Stadium. On the mound for the Brewers is Teddy Higuera, whose record is 9-7 with a 2.75 ERA. And pitching today for Detroit is Dan Petrie, whose record is 1-4 with a 6.69 ERA. And so we've now won uh, two in a row. Um, we won both games in the uh, two-game set against the Indians. Morris had that 4 nothing shutout on uh, Sunday. And then yesterday, Rosie went eight and a third innings uh, with uh, a four-hit ball. And uh, Tom Hume came in and shut it down. So a pretty good two-game series against a bad team. And uh, today gets a little bit tougher as we face the Brew Crew. And they are... Uh, one and a half games ahead of us, uh, winning those two games, uh, such as we did, uh, brought us uh, within seven and a half now of first place, and we haven't hit July. Now, we do only have uh, one month left to go. And so, uh, as our tradition, after today's game, I'm going to do an end of the month standings and uh, leaders video so you can see where we're at as we head into the final month of the season just to show you here we do have the all-star game coming up where uh, i'll be playing live against dave uh, in the all-star game with uh something from my memorabilia collection on the line so uh we'll give you more information uh, dave and i are still trying to uh, work out the semantics and pick a, spe a specific date and time that'll work for the uh, live event and then um We'll try to give everybody as much notice as we can. Uh, it'll probably end up being um, a weekday in the um, evening, 5 p.m. my time here on Pacific, 8, 8, uh, 8 p.m. Um, on the East Coast. So uh, that's the plan, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out uh, more in depth. So let's go ahead and get started with today's game. As always, like and or subscribe if you enjoy our content. Um, as you probably know I also do um, sports cards uh, opening here on this channel and um, I've done three football uh, sports pack openings and uh, so if you're into that kind of stuff check it out some pretty good uh, rookie quarterbacks I pulled earlier this week and so welcome back Dan Petrie this is his first start in quite a while he's been horrible we're going to talk about him momentarily more in depth and all of the bullpen is available. Look at those numbers. Uh, we've had to swap some people out, but they are turning them around. So that's nice to see. Here's our lineup. Teddy Higuera is a lefty. So this is our primary lineup versus lefties. Um, with a couple minor uh, additions, of course, we have uh, Greg Brock uh, playing first base. Bobby Ramos is back in there. He's had a couple days off. And Parrish will be DHing while Ramos will be catching. And then Ramos will play tomorrow um, as the uh, catcher for um, Bryn Smith. So, okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the season stats. And then we're going to do the Brewers lineup rundown. Betting leadoff and DHing is Randy Reddy. Betting second at third base is Jim Gantner. Betting third at second base is Paul Molitor. Batting cleanup in center field is Chet Lemon. Batting fifth at first base is Cecil Cooper. Batting sixth in left field is Larry Heisel. Batting seventh in catching is Dave Sachs. Batting eighth in right field is Marshall Edwards. And batting ninth at shortstop is Ed Romero. All right, here's Dan Petrie. Man, he's been bad, but look at the ratings. That's what we're talking about. We need to get him to a point where we can trust him and have him start every five days because his ratings are fantastic. But his numbers are not. He's got 28 walks in 37 innings, only 18 Ks. Opponents are batting 253 against him. Um, taking a look at his log, he, uh, look at that, three and two thirds, one and two thirds. He had no K outing there for his only win against uh, the last place Toronto Blue Jays. So uh, we cannot rely on Dan Petrie uh, as is. We need to see a little more from him. And uh, so here he is back as we sent uh, Jerry Uger to the minors, who's pitching pretty good. There, um, 
yeah, he was pretty decent down there, and uh, maybe he'll, we'll see him before the end of the season. So here's Randy Reddy leading off against Dan Petrie. And Reddy pops it up on the infield, carrying to the outfield grass behind second base, and Whitaker makes the play. One down here is Jim Gantner. Gantner hits a ground ball to Brock. Two down. It's going to leave it up to Paul Molitor, Hall of Famer. And also leading the American League in uh, batting average with a 358 batting average. Um, and of course, we'll uh, get more into the leaders after today's game. Molitor flies out to left, and that is the final out of the inning. We go to the bottom half of the first. Here is the Tigers lineup today. Batting leadoff. And playing center field is Ricky Henderson. Batting second at second base is Sweet Lou Whitaker. Batting third at shortstop is Alan Trammell. Batting cleanup and DHing today is Lance Parrish. Batting fifth in right field is Jeffrey Leonard. Batting sixth in left field is Kirk Gibson. Batting seventh and catching is Bobby Ramos. Batting eighth at first base is Greg Brock. And batting ninth at third base is Tommy Brookins. Teddy Higuera off to a pretty good start in uh, the 1981 season. We didn't see him the first time he played the Brew Crew. Uh, he's 9-7 and seven with a 275 ERA. That is pretty darn good. 84 Ks and 131 innings pitched. The Pokes are betting 240. He's got three shutouts on this season. In real life, Teddy Higuera did not make his major league debut until 1985. And in 86, he finished second in the Cy Young Award uh, behind only uh, Roger Clemens. And uh, he won 20 games that year. That was his best year by far. Um, and then he uh, put up a few more, uh, about three more good seasons, and then he, he tailed off and was out of baseball. So he did not actually become a major league ball player until 1985. So he's way ahead of the curve, even though he is 23 years old in this game. Okay, here is Ricky Henderson leading off against Teddy Higuera. Ricky pops it up on the infield. Looks like Molitor makes the play at second. One down. Sweet Lou Whitaker's up next. He takes a third strike looking. Two down. Here's Trammell betting 342 versus lefties. He hits a fly ball to center field and it will be caught. Chet Lemon makes the play and we go to the top of the second. Here's Chet Lemon. We know that he got traded over here. Uh, what is that? Two weeks ago, basically. And uh, batting 333. That looks like a pretty good trade for the Brew Crew so far. Solid defensive player, of course. And probably my one of my top 10 favorite Tigers of all time. And Petrie starts the second inning by walking Lemon. All right, so runner on first for Cecil Cooper. Cooper batting 316 versus righties. Ground ball back to Petrie, and Petrie fires to second to get the lead runner. So one down. Cooper's on first for Larry Heisel. Heisel's going to hit a blooper into you. Center field falls in for a hit. Cooper takes third. And it's first and third with one out. It's going to bring up the catcher, Dave Sachs. Doesn't have a lot of speed. Maybe we could turn two here. Ground ball to first. Brock makes the play. And we do turn two to get out of the inning. So a nice double play, preventing the run from scoring. And we go to the bottom of the second. Lance Parrish leading off. Parrish betting 288 versus lefty. So much better than righties. I believe he's right around 200. As the third baseman, Gantner, makes an error, a throwing error, and Parrish is on second. So runner in scoring position for Jeffrey Leonard, but one of the better Tigers um, that we've traded for, at least this, this season, betting 351. Oh, I give him all that compliment, and he pops it up into foul ground. Caught on the chalk, actually, by the first baseman, Cooper. One down. Here's Gibby. Gibby get, getting a rare start versus lefties. That's why. Couldn't put the ball in play, even. 
But I'd rather have uh, Gibby in there than um, the other option, which would have been Barry Bunnell. I mean, that just doesn't make any sense. Now, Bobby Ramos, he has been, uh, I guess, on hit, you know, for him, struggling. I think that's his, he's over for his last nine now with that pop-out. We go to the top of the third. There's still no score. Here's Marshall Edwards. Edwards only has two home runs on this season, but one was a big one against Detroit last time we saw him. They tied the game in the top of the ninth. Here he uh, grounds back to Petrie for the first out. And then Ed Romero, base hit up the middle. Second hit against Petrie. One down for Randy Reddy. Oh, there's a bullet through the left side for a base hit. Romero holds it second. First and second for Jim Gantner. Made that error. Nothing came of it, though. And there's a base hit to right. That should get a run in. one nothing Milwaukee. Petrie's given up three straight singles. And now we have uh, Paul Molitor up. He's already 0 for 1 on the day. And he strikes him out. Wow. That is not something you see every day. Molitor striking out and Petrie getting a strikeout. So two down. Here's Chet Lemon. Lemon lifts it to left. And that should be the third out as Gibby makes the play. So three consecutive hits. Get, gets a run on the board. For the Brew Crew, it's 1-0 Milwaukee. Bottom of the third, Greg Brock, future Milwaukee ball player, as you can see wearing that hat there. Oh, Brock strikes out. Third K for Higuera. Higuera totally in control right now. As he saws off Brookens, popping it onto the outfield grass behind shortstop. There's two down. It's going to leave it up to Ricky. Tigers are hitless so far. Ground ball to second. And Henderson is tossed out at first. So we go to the top of the fourth. Cecil Cooper leading off. He rips it down the right field line. That should be a double. It is. Cooper coasts into second. Five hits against Petrie. How, his, how are his ratings so high and yet he is so bad? I don't understand. He is still pretty young in this game as Heisel hits a grounder to first, moving Cooper to third. Just take a quick look here. Petrie, he is only 22 years old. Um, so, you know, he's got a little ways to go before he gets into his prime. But at this pace, he's got 101 career walks against 81 strikeouts, and that is not going to get you much. We're going to pull the infield in. We cannot afford another run the way um, Higuera is pitching. And Sachs is going to pop it up into foul ground on the third base side. There's a second out. So two down, Cooper on third. Marshall Edwards bloops it into center field. There's a hit. 2 nothing as uh, Edwards gets an RBI single. These are all weak hits. Um, but I guess it doesn't matter how hard you hit it if it scores a run. And then Edwards steals second base. Got that 95 speed. That is his 25th stolen base on the season. And he steals third. So, make that 26 as Romero has an 0-2 count. And then Petrie, come, Petrie comes back and walks him. And uh, this will probably be the last batter this inning, then. If, this, if he can't get out Randy Reddy, we're going to yank him out. All right. He lives to fight another day as he strikes out Randy Reddy. It's 2 nothing, And the Tigers haven't even sniffed a base hit. Brown ball by Sweet Lou to lead off the top of the fourth. Cooper makes the play. One down. There we go. That's the guy you expect to get it done, Alan Trammell. Base hit, 50-50 shot for a double. I'm going to say no, because we are only one swing of the bat from tying this up. And this is one of the guys you want up. Now, I've already looked ahead at some of the leaders, and I can tell you Lance Parrish is number two in grounding into double plays. So, 
Uh, it doesn't matter because Parrish walks. And now it's first and second, which doesn't mean Leonard won't hit and do a DP. But we're going to think positively. Oh, nope. That was not good. I gave him some bad juju on that as Leonard strikes out. 4Ks for Higuera. That's going to leave it up to Gibby to do something big here. Boom! There's a base hit to right. A hit against a lefty. Tram scores, and it's 2-1. to one. Good job by Gibson. Runner on first and third. Bobby Ramos. This is the time for him to be clutch. He has been clutch most of the season so far. Uh, but he hits a grounder to second, and that's going to be the third out. So we're on the board. It's 2-1. to one. We go to the fifth. We have the two, three, and four batters up for Petrie, starting with Jim Gantry. Gantry hits a real weak grounder to Whitaker. There's one down. Next up is Paul Molitor. Molitor is going to 0-3 for the day. So two down for Chet Lemon. Chester nubs it back to Petrie. One, two, three inning for Dan, that was good. He needed that. At least it gave me some confidence in him. Okay, so it's 2-1. to one, Bottom of the fifth, Greg Brock leading off. And he strikes out looking. Fifth K for Higuera, and that's twice that Brock has struck out today. One down. Here's Tom Brookins. Brookins base hit to left. Uh, net, yes, now we are going to try for two. We're going to push it. And Brookins is safe at second. Good hustle by Tommy, and he's in scoring position for Ricky Henderson, who came through yesterday with a clutch hit. Let's see if he's got another one in him. There it is, base hit to right. That should score Brookins. It does. We're all tied, and no, we're definitely not. I don't trust Ricky running at all anymore. So Ricky's on first. We are going to hit run with Sweet Lou, though. And there's a little blooper in the center field. Duck Snort falls in. Henderson hustles to third. And we've got ourselves a little rally going here. Still only one out. And you know Tram's going to hit and run. That's a specialty. So first and third. One out. we got some speed on the base pass. He pulls it to the left side. And it finds a hole. Henderson scores. It's three to two. Holy cow. This came out of nowhere. So first and second now for Lance. Big wheel needs a big hit. Oh, there it is. The center field falls in. Run scores. It's 4-2. to two. Do we send Trammel against Lemon? 90% chance. 100% out. Oh, nuts. All right. Well, still 4-2. to two. RBI single from Parrish. We got a little greedy. And then <laughs> Higuera strikes out Leonard. Okay, now I'm feeling a little shaky um, because usually what happens um, through experience is when you get thrown out in the base pass, uh, the computer AI uh, likes to jam its thumb in your eye hole. So let's... Um, <sighs> All right. Petrie, I mean, what are we doing? Let's have him pitch. That was dumb. There's a base hit for Cooper. Bringing up Larry Heisel. Batting 275 with five homers. Wild pitch, moving Cooper to second. This feels bad. This feels wrong. And that is confirmed on the base hit by Heisel. All right, so we're going to guard the lines. And try to turn two here against Dave Sachs. Worked once before. We'll try it again. Hey, there's a ground ball to Lou. Lou does turn two. Great job. Two down. Here is Marshall Edwards. One for two on the day. And a base hit to center. That is the ninth hit off of Petrie. And uh, I think this will be the last... Well, we'll play it by ear. It's either this one or it'll be Randy Reddy. 
There we go. Romero pops it up on the infield. That should be an easy play for... Well, it's Trammell. Trammell's been butterfingers lately. He does, he does make the catch there, and we get out of the inning with the lead. It's 4-3, to three, going to the bottom of the six. Let's look at the uh, in-game stats. Player of the game, is it Trammell? Two for three? Gibby did have that one clutch hit. Um, I guess we got to give it to Tram so far. At any rate, Gibby leading off against Teddy. And uh, he does already have a base hit against him. That's pretty crazy. As Gibby pops it up on the infield. Molitor makes the play. One down. Here's Bobby Ramos. Ramos 0 for 2. Make it 0 for 3. Ramos in a huge slump. All right, two down. Greg Brock, he's 0 for 2 with 2Ks today. And he nubs it for an infield single to third. Brock gets a base hit. Good job by uh, Brock finding a way, fighting, fighting his way on base. So Brock on first for Brookins. Brookins already has a hit. Oh, man, I thought that was going to fall in, but it's going to be caught by Marshall and Wright. And uh, we go to the top of the seventh. That's all we're asking of Petrie. He went eight innings. He's leaving with the lead. It could have been worse. Also, it maybe could be that he turned the corner. I don't know. We are going to bring in Dave Patterson. Let's take a look at Dave. 11th game. He's 1-0. Decent ERA. 225. 8 Ks and 12 strikeout, uh, twelve innings. That's pretty decent. And opponents are batting 214 against him. All right. So we're getting to the point where we can start to trust Dave Patterson. He's got uh, 1, 2, and 3 here. Starting with Randy Reddy. Reddy pops it into foul ground behind home plate. Play is made by Brock, actually. One down. Here's uh, Jim Gantner facing Patterson for the first time. Gantner pops it up. And Trammell catches it. There's two down. It's going to bring up Paul Molitor. 0 for 3 on the day. He's due. Ground ball to short. Trammell tosses him out. Great job by Patterson. We might have the makings of a bullpen here, folks. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Teddy Higuera at 97 pitches. He does have a really high endurance. He could probably go about 120. So he's... Uh, we're going to have to drive him out of the game. As Henderson goes the opposite way on a line to right for the first out. Henderson 1 for 4 now. Sweet Lou's up next. Oh, he strikes out swinging. Second time he's K'd today. 7 overall for Higuera. 2 down for Tram. And Trammell strikes out. Eight Ks for Higuera. Other than that one bad inning, Higuera has been dynamite. We go to the eighth. We are going to bring in... Uh, we're going to let... Actually, we're going to let Patterson pitch to Lemon. And then uh, we're going to bring in a lefty. Okay, so Chet Lemon. Oh, man, he's betting 286 versus righties. Oh, no. Okay, I thought that was going to be ball four. But... Patterson grooved it to him, and Lemon hits a ground ball. So good job by Patterson. And we're going to bring in our lefty specialist, our loogie. Lefty one-out guy. That's Pat Underwood. See him just about every day now. He's uh, appearing in his 34th game, 4-4, four and four, 324 ERA, 17 Ks, and 33 innings pitched. Opponents only betting 218, and you know the splits, 172 versus lefties so all right underwood's in there here we go uh oh i don't know cecil hits um hits lefties pretty good and cooper lifts it into left center field gibby makes the play there's two down and uh that's all we needed him to do we're going to bring in tom hume he pitched yesterday and uh, Hume, oh, did you see that? Righties are batting 120 against the righty. It's the lefties you got to watch out for. So that's pretty damn good from a closer. He's done a good job since uh, coming off the IL. And you can see here he's making his 13th appearance, 1-0, 12 innings, 7 Ks. Opponents are batting 200. 
And uh, we're hoping he can get a four out save here. Starting with Larry Heisel, two down in the eighth. And Heisel pops up an inside pitch to Trammell. And that's going to do it. Going to the bottom of the eighth, they're bringing in Doug Jones. This guy has always looked like he's 60 years old. He's only 24 in this game. Uh, so very early in his career. He pitched forever. He is their closer. Uh, 23rd appearance, 281 ERA. 14 Ks and 25 innings pitch. Opponents are betting 255. Saves 13 out of 14. That's pretty darn good. All right, so we don't have to see the lefties anymore. Lance will lead off the inning, tapping it to first. There's one down. Jeffrey Leonard won at two Tigers without a hit today. He's 0 for 3. I'm going to give him another chance. There we go. Base hit the center. You can't keep Jay Leo down. That doesn't really work, does it, Jay Leo? Jay Lee? Jay Lee. There we go. I'm going to call him Jay Lee. Okay, so runner on first. That's Jay Lee, obviously. And uh, here's Gibby. Finally facing a righty today. Oh, <laughs> he strikes out. He swings over that curveball. And uh, runner on first and two down for Bobby Ramos. Come on, Ramos. You're the only guy left over. Nope. He skies it on the infield. Ramos, is this the end of Ramos? It could be. Ramos, as we go to the top of the ninth, take a look at his log. Yeah, he had four, five, six, eight, uh, ten. So he's got at least ten at bats. It's over his last ten. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Top of the ninth, we have uh, seven, eight, and nine, starting with Dave Sachs, who's batting 170 versus righties. And he goes down and gets it, golfs it to right. Play is going to be made by Leonard. One down. Now, Marshall Edwards screwed it up for us in the last series. I'm hesitant. He's betting 361. Let's guard the lines. Let's guard the lines. There we go. That seems like a smart play. Ground ball to Whitaker. And Whitaker tosses him out. Okay, we're down to the number nine hitter, Ed Romero. 4 3 Detroit. Two down in the ninth. Oh, and a base hit to center field. The tying run is on first. That's clutch. We, it never goes easy for us. Runner on first. I can't imagine Romero's going to be stealing. Um, and Randy Reddy. Randy Reddy does have power. Ground ball. Base hit through the left side of the infield. And the tying run is on second. Oh boy. Um, and now we have a lefty. And lefties hit Hume. Oh boy. Um, okay. Well, we're going to bring in, we're going to do what we, what we should be doing. We're playing the odds. We're going to bring in uh, Dave Rucker. His splits, he's 114 versus lefties. And Gantner bats 238. Um, we're playing straight away. This is either it or it's not. Ground infield single. Everybody is safe. And now it's the best hitter on the team. And all we've got left is Tom Filer. This game. <laughs> oh, man. This is it right here. Bases are loaded. Everyone's going to play straight away for Molitor. And Molitor is 0 for 4 on the day. What are the odds he goes 0 for 5? Nope. Base hit. Two runs score. And the Tigers have given up the lead. All of this with two outs. Yep. So we go to the bottom of the ninth inning. We're down a run. Uh, I don't know what to say. It ruins the game for uh, Petrie. What a bummer. Um, geez, I can't even... I don't know what to say. Uh, I feel like I played all the right odds. Um, but when, you know, an infield single on a lefty on lefty, there's nothing you can do about that. It's just what the game wanted. 
And so we have Doug Jones with Greg Brock leading off. Uh, we're going to give Brock a chance here. Ground ball to first. Yeah, this is going to be one, two, three. Okay, we're going to take out Brookins, and we're going to bring in um, Reggie. Reggie's not doing so good, but he does have power. And with one swing of the bat, he can tie it up. So we're bringing in Reggie. He's one for two against Doug Jones in his career. Ground ball. Oh, man, this is the game that got away. What a bummer. Yep. Tigers lose 5-4. to four. Well, that is about as bad as uh, it can get as we uh, totally blew it. And what we're, eh, we're still holding tight. Now Baltimore can't win. We could have been six and a half games back. But uh, Milwaukee, they swept Seattle before uh, uh, this victory today. So they are looking pretty solid. Unbelievable. Uh, nothing in transactions. We're gonna, we'll look at standings in the... Um, in the video that I'll be uh, loading up eventually here. Um, let's take a look at the box score and get out of here. What a bunch of crap. That's our best um, month of the season so far, going 17 and 11. Oh, come on. Tom Hume takes the loss, and that's really not fair. Um, I don't know. That should have been easy, but it wasn't. And uh, the rest of the bullpen did their part. Uh, not Dave Rucker, but that was an infield single. And then Tom Filer gave up that hit, the, the two-run single. So Hume takes the loss. He's 1-1. One one. Doug Jones, 3-1. Player of the game, it doesn't even matter. But uh, we're going to give it to, I don't know. Nobody really deserves it. We'll give it to Trammell. He went 2-4. for four. He had a couple hits. And uh, so Tram will be the uh, player of the game. Okay, that's it. We're going to come back a little bit here. We're going to do um, the... Uh, standings and leaders video and uh, we'll see you then have a good night